what do you need from your marketing campaigns for your restaurant? Actually, what do you want? But more importantly, what must you demand? My goal is to help to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 621. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and today I want to talk about what you must demand out of your marketing campaigns for your restaurant. More importantly, your marketing plan, which I hope a lot of you have in place. I understand many of you don't. More of you need it. But more importantly, more of you need to demand more out of it. And what do I mean by that? Well, the other day I'm having a conversation with a big hitter in the restaurant space, in the tech space. Big company. This man himself is a big hitter. Years and years of industry experience and just does a lot of really badass stuff. And he was asking me why we are changing the name of the marketing and software side of the company. America's Best Restaurants, the media company, is what it is. It's staying. You're going to hear about it for a long time. But this new brand that's coming out is a combination of repeat returns marketing software and restaurant marketing that works, acquisition programs, social media coaching advice. The restaurant marketing platform we're creating is going to be unlike anything else. And he's like, Matt, why the name change? I I like it. I kind of get it. But give me your reasoning. I said, because over the last 10 to 15 years, I came to the conclusion that at the end of the day, the vast majority of the people that we are dealing with and are going to deal with really, really, really want one thing out of Matt Plapp and our company. Drive sales. That's it. I've been under this delusion that we can teach these high-level marketing tactics to everybody that really build brand. And when you build brand, you sell stuff easier. And that is true. But it's not true for the entire market. You see, about three out of ten of our clients that we talk to at a very high level actually take that part of it and run with it and see that In three years, when they do all of these items and the other things, they'll stack up sales and they'll stack up brand equity. And in two or three years, it's a waterfall. It's a hockey stick. Many businesses never find that because they do not take their marketing serious. And more importantly, they don't demand enough out of the marketing and themselves. So when I told him this, I said, you know, the new company, the new platform, the name, the mission behind it, is 100% becoming obsessed with driving sales. You, as a restaurant owner, need more lunch sales. You need more dinner sales. You need more birthday sales. You need more catering sales. You need more desserts and appetizer upsells. It all revolves around driving sales. And a lot of that, inadvertently, is by driving traffic to your social media, to your website, to your front door. And I said, so that got me thinking, if everything I've been preaching, not everything, if half of what I've been preaching and really passionate about the last 10 or so years revolved around helping restaurants understand the big picture of a big brand, let me back that up with something really quick. I had a guy today that actually asked me what that means. He said, Matt, what do you mean that my Customer acquisition of my restaurant is tougher because my brand is weaker. And I said, first, let's back it up. Number one, you don't have a weak brand in the sense of what you've created. You have a weak brand in the sense of belief, buy-in, and nurture of people that aren't doing business with you. The people that are doing business with you absolutely love you. I said, but here's an example for you. Imagine if Apple wasn't Apple. Would the iPhone sell like it does? They could come out tomorrow and say, hey, we've got the iPhone 400. It's $10,000. We're not going to tell anybody what it does. We want you to see for yourself, but trust us, it is our best iPhone yet. There'll be lines out the damn door the minute it happens. 
because they have built up enough brand equity that when they speak, it means something and they acquire business. They drive sales because of their brand. Well, I have been talking about this for a while and I have also come to the conclusion that the majority of people we deal with, majority of you listeners, are people that need to pay the bills tomorrow. That while you do have a big picture vision of how many locations you want to have, what your company is going to do, it is tough as shit to think about six months when you, you, you can't picture the next three to four months or the next couple of weeks. You're looking at Friday's payroll and going, man, like, are we going to make it? Where am I going to pull money from? Am I not going to pay myself this week? Are we going to write the, the rent check really late at the end of the day so it doesn't go through to tomorrow or the next day? I know every one of those tricks. Been there, done that, understand it. And so with that, we've come to the conclusion that the marketing plan that Restaurant has in place, whether they use our company, whether they use somebody else, you've got to demand a couple things from it. And what are those? Number one, you've got to demand results. You have to put in place strategies that get people's attention and that gets that attention to take action. And that action goes to a place where you can see what actually happened. Imagine you're at the driving range and you're taking golf lessons and you've got the coach is giving you a ball and critiquing your swing. But every time you hit the ball, you don't see it. It just stops. It goes into obliteration. You can't see if it went left, it went straight, it went long, it went short. Did you shank it? You'd probably give up at some damn point. You'd be like, screw this game, I'm done. But because when you go to a driving range and you have a golf coach with you and they have the track man simulators and the video cameras, you can watch what you did and you can see the result. You can go, oh shit, when I pull my wrist over, when I pull my shoulders through, when I have my grip correct, when I don't swing too hard, you can analyze and understand why you got the result that you did. That, my friends, is one of the biggest demands you must make out of your marketing. You must demand that you understand the outcome of what's happening. If you run a Facebook post, like I looked at one the other day, a restaurant that we know of, they ran a National Pet Day promotion. I want to say it was like April 8th or 9th or 10th. They had an email that went out. They had a text blast. It went to a targeted segments of their database. They had a Facebook ad that ran behind it. It was like $25 for a couple days. But the post was really simple, really badass graphic with the owner and a dog. And it said, comment below pictures of your pets to celebrate National Pet Day. And those people commented. It was like 290 comments. And those comments, when they were hooked up to the tool this restaurant is using, in Facebook Messenger, it opened up conversations. And of those 290 or so comments, about 70 people joined their customer marketing program. And then about another 150 were reminded that they are members and they have promos waiting for them. They have a reason to come eat food. They have a reason to come try a dessert, which will drive somebody to the restaurant to order a dessert because the server's not going to upsell them. We know that. And then they will try that dessert, they'll love it, and the next handful of times they will order the damn dessert. So when you think about your marketing plan, the first thing I want you to demand from it, and I'm going to cover these topics the next seven days, the first thing you must demand is a trackable path. I put this out there, this happened, and this was the result. Otherwise, you're hitting blind at the driving range, and you do not Find the promised land, my friends. You do not find the top of the mountain not knowing what you're doing and where it's going and how it's working. Talk to you tomorrow about tip number two. Commercial time. Okay, today I want to talk about something quick, something easy, and something you need to have. Restaurant owners, the America's Best Restaurants RGA Guide. Revenue Generating Activities. This is a 12-month planner, marketing, and sales tactics to help you double your restaurant sales. If you want to grow your restaurant, you have to grow your database. You have to grow the attention you're getting on Facebook and Instagram. You have to grow your influence in your community. And in my opinion, you need to double it. We have created an inexpensive marketing training that you could take advantage of today. 
It is the Restaurant RGA Guide. Go to mattplapp.live slash RGA.